So my grandfather's side, I would be the uh, second generation Mexican-American, and then my grandmother's side would be the third generation. My grandfather is from Guanajuato, Mexico, and that's where all his family's from. And my grandma, I know her father was from a small town near uh, Puerto Vallarta. So I believe my grandfather came to uh, the U.S. in the late 1940s, early 1950s. He came as a bracero and worked in the fields. Um, and I believe he met my grandma shortly after that, maybe in 1950s, because they got married in 1952, if I'm correct. My grandmother also, I know, worked in the fields, but she's a second generation Mexican-American. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure. I know her family had moved from like Colorado. She told me to LA and then eventually landed in Northern California, but I'm so proud of her. She's such a beautiful woman. Uh, she passed away a few years ago, but I miss her dearly. It means a lot to be able to be like the first Latina in my family that I'm aware of to uh, be in radio. It's just, it's a huge honor and hopefully like my story may inspire another girl, a Latina girl who, or a girl in general, who is looking to get into the radio and television or just media career field. And I'm just so grateful for my grandfather and my grandmother's sacrifices and their hard work because I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't. So I'm, I'm always humbled by that, their hard work and just the, the story that has led us to today. Hi, I'm Drita Gonzalez from Wild 94.9 and we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month.